Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you've had an amazing week since I last spoke to you. I hope that whatever goals you set out to achieve this week, be it eating a little healthier or getting a little exercise or just taking care of your mental health, I hope that you're able to do that. Um, this week was something. <laughs> I actually went to my first CrossFit class, which was something that I've been really looking forward to, given that I got postponed with all my inductions and things like that. And to be honest, it totally was completely different to what I expected. I went into my first CrossFit class intimidated as hell. Like I turned up and there were people that they have that kind of fitness physique and that fitness attitude that you see on like YouTube and Instagram and things like that where you know they're they're jacked and they've got their shirts off and I was like oh no oh no this isn't gonna be the place for me <laughs> um, these people are not gonna want me around like cramping their style but I went in and everyone was smiley and happy and I was like okay um, and then the rest of the class started to turn up and I was really surprised to see that there was just this huge variety of people. There were people like me with kind of a, a less fitnessy physique. There were people who were younger. There were older ladies. By the time the class actually started to get going, there was about 17 people and they were every demographic. They, that's, it was everyone. It was from grandma to there was an 11 year old there who was obviously not doing anything with weights, but he was just so happy to be there. I think he was there with his dad or um, maybe his older brother, maybe, but he was just crushing it. And what I didn't expect was the community. Like everyone talks about the CrossFit community. Everyone says, oh, you know, it's amazing to turn up and it's um, the people that keep you coming back and um, they're the people that are gonna push you along. And sure, you're like, yeah, okay, I believe it. But as soon as I walked in and that class started, everyone was like, hey, you're new. Like, oh, what's your background? Where do you come from? And the trainer who actually did my inductions, he, he went, look everyone, she's new. If you see her struggling with any of the movements, um, just you know, do what you can to help her out. And they were honestly awesome. So we got the, the workout. The first part was uh, called Diane. <laughs> now, when I was looking at the class schedule, I was like, Diane, that must be the trainer's name. But I thought my trainer was training this class and it was very confusing. But what I learned in my first class is that a lot of the workouts um, have those names. So that one's Diane and there's like, I want to say Fran. <laughs> but anyway, there's a, they have women's names. That's not your trainer. That's the, that's the actual workout you're going to be doing. So um, I did my Diane workout and I also did um, like a, I don't know, I can't remember what the movement's called, but it's, you push the dumb, no, not the dumbbell, you push the stick thing above your head with weight on it. <laughs> you can tell that I really picked it all up, but um, I didn't expect to be able to do it even with just the Olympic bar. I thought I would have to do it with a stick like some some people were doing. But thankfully, the trainers are great in actually being able to identify um, where your strengths are and where potentially your weaknesses are. So I was able to scale um, any of the movements I couldn't do to my level. And they were able to push me into trying movements that I didn't think I could do. Like, um, I can't remember what it's called, but the movement that I was doing, it's like this one. Yeah. Um, I didn't think my elbows would be able to bend that way because it's such an unnatural movement for me. Like growing up on a farm, you kind of get used to like lifting movements, um, like squatting and, and using your legs you're pretty familiar with, but it's very rare that you actually lift things over your head. So it was something that was super, um, I guess is uncomfortable is not quite the word, but I was really nervous about it because it wasn't something that was familiar at all. But, you know, they started me out and showed me how to do the movement and they were super patient and everyone else was just buzzing around doing their thing. But while they were doing that in their rest periods, they were actually stopping and going, look, you're doing a good job. Here's some advice from when I started. And that kind of um, empathy, I guess, is what really made me not feel like a fool. Like whenever I've gone to gyms in the past and I've gone into either a class environment or I've gone like onto the weights floor, I've always felt like, 
an idiot because everyone knows how to use the machines everyone knows how to use the weights and i know that you shouldn't be intimidated at the gym because everyone's just there to better themselves and everyone says don't worry about gym intimidation but it's a thing and especially if someone like me when i was at school i wasn't a, like i wasn't willing to get involved with any of the physical activity i wouldn't play sports wouldn't do anything i liked maybe the gymnastics and the tennis but I was too uncomfortable because I'd never done competitive sports growing up to actually get involved. So because I couldn't do anything, I wasn't willing to try. And in school, if you stuff something up, people laugh at you. When I went to CrossFit, when I stuffed something up, people were encouraging me and that was something completely unexpected. And honestly, it warmed my cold heart. <laughs> like I was just, by the time I got to the end of the class, I didn't feel foolish and I didn't feel unwelcome. I felt like this community is a group of people that are just happy to see you there and trying. And as much as you can say that about regular gyms, I've never actually really felt it. But with CrossFit, I felt it. I felt like when I was trying a movement and I stuffed it up, there was no one laughing at me. And I never felt like people were looking at me like, can you believe her? They were just showing me how to do it and um, showing me how to modify and just pushing me along and it was it was really lovely and I got paired up with another girl who had been doing CrossFit for five years so she was jacked <laughs> but um, even though we were sharing a piece of equipment she was so willing to help me like swap the weights over and work out what weights I could and couldn't lift and it was not at all what I expected I thought she's been doing it for so long she's going to be um, unhappy that she has to waste her time with me but she wasn't and you know she had nothing to benefit like she's not a trainer there she's not someone who's um, making any money from helping me she was just genuinely happy to do it and I don't know I've only been to one class but I'm starting to think that maybe that's the kind of people that CrossFit attracts um, people that are just happy to help one another and I'm sure there's going to be butts <laughs> but the people that I met and the group of people that it seemed to attract they weren't like that and it makes me really excited I have my next class tomorrow and I'm really really looking forward to it like I never thought there would be a time in my life that I would be excited to work out I hate exercise it's the worst but I'm really looking forward to going tomorrow and not just because I am going to be doing exercise. I'm actually looking forward to meeting the people that I'm going to see on a every second day basis. And that's just something that I'm, I've never really experienced before as far as fitness goes. So I don't think I would keep going to CrossFit for CrossFit. I think I'm going to keep going to CrossFit because the community supports people who want to do CrossFit and people who genuinely just want to have a crack at being healthier and trying things that they've never tried before and having that kind of variety in a workout. And look, there's some great things about CrossFit. It's one, I don't have to design my own workouts. Like I can turn out to the gym and it's ready to go. They've thought it through, they know what they're doing, all the equipment's ready to go. I just have to turn up and do what I'm told, which is great because I don't know anything yet. So even if I don't do CrossFit forever, it's at least building foundations and familiarity with movements that um, I wouldn't get just being afraid in the gym by myself or unless I got a personal trainer or a one-on-one. -on -one. And a lot of people talk about the cost of CrossFit and yeah, it's not cheap like a gym it's not you know 15 bucks a week but i get to turn up every day with a group of people who want to help and there a trainer is there and they're watching what you're doing and they're making sure you're safe and they're making sure you're not going to injure yourself like um i did you will see here i was trying to do a dumbbell press up this way um, and i was trying with weight that was too heavy for me and I actually dropped it on my shoulder and the trainer i didn't even see him he was like a ninja but the next round that i got to where i was using the dumbbells i was like oh maybe i've hit my second wind or something because suddenly this weight feels a lot lighter 
Um, and then when we got to the end of the workout, he's like, were those five kilos a bit better than the sevens? And I was like, oh, I see now. It wasn't that I suddenly got stronger in 35 seconds. It was that, um, it was that someone was looking out for me and making sure that I wasn't lifting through a lack of knowledge and, and injuring myself further. It was just nice to have someone that has your back and that they didn't make a fuss. He wasn't like, look, you know, you're not quite there at a seven yet. Let's, let's back you back to a five and, and embarrassing me or being condescending or, um, making it aware to everyone around me. He just really casually, I didn't even see it. Um, and they were right next to me. So I must've been in some kind of like fitness zone or something, but he just swapped the, the dumbbells over. So that's something you wouldn't necessarily get in just a standard gym. So yes, you pay more, but you get more. So, so far I see the value. Like I have another nine classes before I actually have to start paying, which is awesome because um, I'm not at a place where I'm able to go every second day right now. Like my muscles don't recover as quickly as I'd like, but that's fine because I can spread them out. And then once I've finished those like 10 introduction classes, I'm happy to pay whatever it is that I need to, because look, you can pay, I don't know how much a personal trainer costs, but like 70 bucks an hour for a personal trainer, or I can spend like something like that a week to have a personal trainer there for every single session. So I can really see the value in it. Um, so as far as the cost goes, I think the benefits are there for me at least. Um, and yeah, it's the community that I think is so valuable and potentially underrated because I'm going back because they made me feel comfortable. Like they did this thing at the end of the workout where everyone walks along and the first person that came up to me, I was like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> Why are you interacting with me? I'm no one. And they do like this, um, like a sliding high five ish thing. I don't know how to describe it. I'm, I'm not a hand gesture person, but they came along and they would just like clap my hand and said, Hey, like, good job. Nice workout. And I was like, all right. And then more people came up and were like, Hey, nice workout. And, and everyone sort of just acknowledges that everyone put in the effort. And even though they might not have been achieving the best times or lifting the most weight or anything like that, everyone was just there to get it done in whatever way that they're able to get it done. So it was awesome. And I really enjoyed it. And honestly, like this week has been a really hard week for me mental health wise. Like I just have not been able to get myself going. I have an essay that I should be writing right now, but instead I'm filming a YouTube video because between CrossFit and this moment, these are like the two things that I'm happy about <laughs> this week. Everything else kind of sucked. And honestly, if CrossFit can give that to me every second day where I'm, I'm happy to go and I feel like I've accomplished something, I think that might help with my mental health a bit not necessarily you know getting the serotonin hit or whatever it is but just yeah having that sense of accomplishment like i've done at least one good thing this week i think that will really help so yeah my first class a success i'm gonna say and i'm really looking forward to starting my week with a class because if i can get that little positive you did it moment early in the week. Maybe like the next day when I wake up, I'll be ready to hit the ground running and actually achieve something with my work days and in my personal life and in my social life. So fingers crossed. Um, I'll let you guys know next week how I go, but yeah, first CrossFit class. Awesome. And I'm really looking forward to my next one. Yeah. So if, you don't have a fitnessy background, if you don't have a sportsing background, if you're like me and you don't have a, a history in that sort of field, you could give CrossFit a try. I found it super encouraging and I know every gym or box, I think they call them, whatever, I, whatever place that they do CrossFit in near you may be different, but, and I know that they're all different, but you know, if the community is anything like this one, I think it's definitely worth giving a go and just going and learning like the foundational movements and familiarizing yourself with gym equipment and just becoming more comfortable in an environment where there are like fitness people around you and not feeling stupid. So that's my recommendation for the moment is yeah, 
give it a go. Don't worry about looking like a fool because they're not going to make you feel like one. So anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome week. Set your goals on a Sunday and just tick them off through the week. I know you guys can do it because I did it. So if I can do it, the laziest person on earth, then you can. <laughs> so I'll see you guys for my next video next week. And yeah, have a good weekend. Bye.